this is how my this shop is just too small that's why I'm moving everything over there to the bigger building eventually right now I'm just working and I've been cutting these boards just the tip off of them these were piled up in the house when I bought this place um, they're pretty old but I I can use them for what I'm going to use them for. I'll show you in a second. I'm going to pause this. I went out back uh, with the truck and loaded up all those um, landscape timbers that I had that I'm using like uh, posts. And an ant bed had tried to make a nest there on part of them. So. I wanted to hurry up and get them all out of there. I went ahead and I got the truck up there. And over here I had brought it over. I brought a few over here in my little cart. And I got them right there. I've been, what I want to do is make a, like a privacy screen, you know, where all this from my septic tank and all isn't showing from the road. I think it'll look nice and I'm gonna grow some vining stuff on it. Something that's not deep rooted because this is my septic tank. It runs way down there. That's why I laid this board here. That's how long they are when I cut the tips off of them. They're old fence boards. I'm just cutting the dog-eared part off and I've it's just perfect on each side of the septic so um, I'm digging my holes to put in my posts and then I'm gonna you know put this up and then see how it looks I think I'm gonna paint it white um, yeah so that's what I'm doing right now just thought I'd show it to you um, I'd like to do some more out there, maybe with my, um, those slabs that I got from the sawmill. I got quite a few of them still left. I gotta move that around back. I think I want, I'm trying to get all four the same size to do my little greenhouse thing that I'm planning for the fall. Move this deer thing over here in the shade it usually doesn't I don't think it gets any sun right here in this area at all that's one reason I put this over here so it wouldn't grow algae I got a lot of roots on these lots of roots see them I don't want to leave them like I did the others and end up with them throwing in the compost pile I'm gonna dig a trench with my tiller out here and lay them down in there and cover them with some good compost or you know uh, pot and soil stuff and see some of this is gardenias and some of its Rosa Sharon cuttings that I had taken off of them um, a friend of mine had a gardenia I got I used to have gardenias at my other place, and I, they, um, long story there. <laughs> I won't go into right now. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. This is Tuesday. It's the 18th of July, 2023. And I'm about to go cut some more boards. Just thought I'd do a quick little video of this so I could see it from the beginning and then show it later. So that's all for now.